In this video, we are going to graph some odd power functions. So in the previous video, we graphed some even power functions and saw that the graphs got more narrow or went up more steeply as the powers went higher. We wanna see what happens when we have it to an odd power. So we are gonna look at x cubed and x to the fifth to see what happens when we plug in these numbers. So I'm gonna do negative two in parentheses to the third power is negative eight. Negative one to the third power is negative one. 0 to the third power is 0, 1 to the third power is 1, and 2 to the third power is 8. So I don't have this graph nicely labeled or anything, but I can put in the point here 0, 0. And I'm going to say maybe here's negative 1, here's negative 2, here's positive 1, here's positive 2. So I have negative 1, comma, negative 1, whereas 1 is with positive 1, and then 2 is down with negative 8 or negative two is with negative eight and positive two is with positive eight. So here's my x to the third power. And we wanna compare that to what happens with x to the fifth. So x to the fifth, I'm gonna plug in each of these x values. Negative two to the fifth is negative 32. Negative one to the fifth is negative one. Zero to the fifth is zero. One to the fifth is one. And two to the fifth is 32. So they start out similarly. They have 0, 0, and 1 with negative 1, or negative 1 with negative 1, and 1 with 1. But then 2 is going to be way up with 32, and negative 2 is going to be way down with negative 32. So they're going to start off the same, but then this is going to go up really quickly. So we're going to have kind of just a skinnier version of this. It's got to go up and down more steeply. So x to an odd power, the higher the power, the more narrow the graph. Similar findings, different shapes for even versus odd, but if you raise it to a higher and higher power, you get a more narrow or steep graph. 